How's it going guys? I'm back. It's Brett. Welcome to the channel. Uh, it's great to have you here. So today I'm going to hit you with another Joomla for tutorial. Now today, uh, basically what we're going to be looking at, this is just a beginner level tutorial. It's nothing too fancy and it's basically, it, it's a tutorial that's really made for anybody. It's, it's, some, it's a tutorial that's made for a business owner, a developer, anybody wanting to learn Joomla 4 and basically anybody who runs, manages websites. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first step in this tutorial is you're definitely gonna to want to just log into your dashboard. Now, this will be anywhere where you've got your website slash administrator. So once you're in your dashboard, you'll see that in your control panel, you're gonna see a box that says site, and within there, you'll have something that says articles and another thing that says article category. Now, on your left sidebar, you will have another content box. This is the exact same thing and it will say articles and categories again. So to get started, basically you're going to want to create a category. Now, the, the idea of creating a category is you can use it for basically anything. If you wanted to create a page that lists jobs, careers, blogs, um, videos, services, anything like that this is basically where you're going to want to start so what we'll do here is you, if you click new up in the corner once you're on this category page so for the purposes of this we're just going to use the title news and updates now it doesn't really matter what you choose but this is just going to show you how you can get it rolling for your category page now you don't really need to set any other options here you don't need to set your alias basically the alias will be used in the url the content can be used as a category description or anything you want in your page if you click through to options here you can see that you know there's a few other options you can set a category image now this may be used if you're showing subcategories on a page and want a feature image of some sort to be there we've also got layouts here now these are very important because if you ever want to do an override or something or you want to have one category page that looks different to another page what you can do in Joomla is actually set layouts in your template files or throughout the site that you can actually call on to make the views very different under your publishing tab now basically this it's pretty self-explanatory but it does have a section where you can add your meta information for you know seo everything like that it has a create date you can basically select the users who created it and everything but you don't really need to do anything in this tab though it's not really important you just would create an article and publish it basically when you want it now if we jump across here to the permissions folder it's pretty again self-explanatory these permissions just set what users are able to view this category now this could be really handy if you have paid services or only want certain users to be able to view certain parts of your website you can actually set a user group to and display it to and then it won't display it publicly or to anyone you don't want it to be over here on the right bar you can see we've got a drop down for parent now this is used to make a parent child relationship within categories can be really handy for subcategory pages and things like that so if a category is unpublished it means that any children articles underneath that category will also not be published so if you do unpublish a category, you're very likely to get 404 errors across your website. So be sure not to do that unless you really need to. And if you do, well, make sure you do the redirects. So now that you've got your category set up, all we're going to do is simply click the save and close button and that should finish the category setup. Right, so now that we've got a category, the next thing you should probably do is actually set um, some items for your category because there's no point having a category unless you add something to it right so basically what we're going to do is we're going to jump across here to the article section of the website 
So if you haven't already, you will be hit with this page here where it says you actually have no articles created yet, so you're gonna to need to create one. So on Fresh Joomla installs, you will find this, and basically all you need to do is click add your first article. But if you already have articles, up in the top here, you'll see a little button that says new, and you can just click that to create your article. As you can see here, it's a very similar page. Basically, you have a title, content, alias, a bunch of things down the side, and a bunch of tabs that you can go through to add more things. Now, the only thing that is required in this page is the title, so that's all you really need to add. For this example, we're just gonna add the new um, item called new website and we'll add a bit of text saying main body article here. You can see we've got this drop down for CMS content. Now, basically here, this is a really handy um, new addition to Joomla 4, and there, there were some similar things with the old tiny MCE editor on Joomla 3, but essentially what you can do on the CMS content part is you can actually plug content from your CMS directly into pages. So this is really handy for if you want to insert modules, page breaks, uh, content, other articles, or things like that directly into your page. So I'm gonna show you here how you can insert a media image into your page. So if you do click under the CMS content and click on the media tab, basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna be prompted with a pop-up. And what you're gonna see here is the media folder on your Joomla directory. Now this is on your slash image directory within your files and basically all you need to do is click on an image. With Joomla 4 now, you do have the option to add a whole lot of new things, including classes, captions, and image description, which is your alt text. Alt text is very important for SEO, so I would always recommend putting very descriptive, um, keyword rich ideas into your alt text or image descriptions. Joomla also offers the um, ability to now lazy load the images which is super handy for optimization and page speeds as well. So once you have that selected you have your alt text filled in all you're going to do is click insert and as you can see here that image has now been placed inside your editor. The editor does have a few other options as well like so with your text you can you know do things like bold it, you can italic it, you can change the orientation to align at center and you can add a whole lot of other things and replace words and whatnot. All right, so basically what we're gonna to wanna to do now is on your sidebar, you're gonna select under where it says category. Currently this is assigned to uncategorized, but that's not where we want it. We wanna put it under our new category we created at this timestamp. Uh, so we're gonna go put that into news and update. So all we do there is make a change. You can feature it, now this can be used for specific types of coding to display certain items when using modules. You can have these publishing your featured articles on the front of your website and so on and so forth. Down in the corner of your screen here, you've also got a toggle editor button. Now this button's really, really handy because a lot of the times people tend to copy uh, text out of Word documents and everything and they end up publishing a whole lot of unwanted code into their editors. Now, this can be really frustrating for developers, it can alter the style of your website and create inconsistencies in larger DOM sizes across the website. So it's always really handy to click on the toggle editor and see if there's anything wrong with your code. Now if there is, what you can do is copy all your stuff out into the notepad again and repaste it in and hopefully that time you won't have all the bad code or over the top Microsoft um, Word code and styling published into your articles. So going to the top of your page now and click on, if you click here on the images and links tab, basically what you can do in here is you can add intro images and full article images. Now the intro images are generally used for when you've got a listing of different articles within a category on a page. You can often see these with blog intros, uh, anything like that. You generally have a piece of text or a snippet of your article with a featured image there. So that's generally what your intro images are for. Your full article images are generally what happens when you go inside your article and they're gonna be your big banner images and everything else on the page. Your links generally, uh, when you create articles, you often do references or else sometimes you wanna post links at the bottom 
of it. Similar to here, with links in the description of this video, it's always at the bottom. Uh, so you can go in here and alter all those. Now under your options, you do have a bunch of category based options. Now if you're using just the default Joomla settings, there's going to be a lot of things in there you don't need. For example, you're probably not going to need your tags, you're not going to need your links and title or links on titles or uh, article info or anything like that. Often there's dates, parent categories and a whole lot of other things like author and stuff that you're not going to want to include into your page. So you can basically turn them off here. But if you are overriding the template, which I will show you in a tutorial later on, so stay tuned for that, subscribe if you're not already, and you will see that in the future. So yeah, if you're using this by default, just make sure to turn off any settings that you don't need, and then they're not going to display on your page. Across here into the publishing section now, the cool thing about this is you can actually set timers on when you want your content to be public. So if you run content on a schedule, you don't have to build it all and publish it at a certain time or when you've done editing it. You can actually set things and articles to publish in the future, which is super handy for yeah, scheduled work or anything like that. Or if you've got uh, special offers or anything that needs to be done on a timestamp. Now under the configure edit screen options, this is really only used for front end editing. So unless you're building a website for somebody and you don't want them to have access to the front end or to the back end of the website or if you run an article business where you want your employees to be able to come in and publish things without going into anything too technical but for the sake of this video we're not actually going to use it so and you're probably not going to use it in your own website as well. Permissions just again is just like the categories it just allows certain people to be able to view these items and that does it for the article so basically all you're going to want to do now is click save and close and that should appear in a list like this. What I've shown you now is how you can create a category and an item for that category. But that doesn't mean that the category is going to be live on your website. So if you stay tuned and follow this next video that I'm going to show you here, basically what we're going to do there is show you how to turn that menu item or that, that content article into a usable page that people on your, the front end of your website can visit. So once again guys, that's it for the video. I really hope that you learned something. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that it's been informative for you. If it has, all that I ask is that you absolutely destroy that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you are new here or do need any help whatsoever with Joomla websites, WordPress websites, anything like that, just Go to my website here on screen, send me an email, and we can work out something to help you guys out. So as always, it's been a pleasure having you here for this tutorial. Do stick around and follow the next video on this and where I show you actually how to turn this into a usable page by creating a menu. And until next time, it's been a pleasure and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.